Seminole County parents and students in particular saw several issues this morning. New 6's Lauren Cervantes is following this story for us. She joins us live in Seminole County. And Lauren, you spoke with one mom today. What sort of challenges did she face getting her kids ready to learn today? Lisa, she tells me she had a hard time logging in and she says she wasn't the only one. She tells me that day one of distance learning presented difficulties. It's challenging. This morning was rough. I'm not going to say it was easy. Kristen Mitchell has two children, Ronald and Sophia, and she says their distance learning got off to a rocky start. We couldn't get in and he had a 9 a.m. class meeting with his teacher. Um, so it just said it kept saying that it wasn't able to handle the site. Mitchell tells us she thinks the issue is everyone trying to log on at the same time. She says other families were experiencing issues as well and that the district was aware. The district was sending us emails and calling us about they understood that there was technical difficulties. They were working on expanding their um, broadband or bandwidth. This afternoon, Seminole County leaders asked for patience. These are waters yet to be navigated. There's going to be hiccups. There's going to be speed bumps. There's going to be things that either weren't thought of or technology that uh, maybe can't be relied upon. Eventually, Mitchell says she was able to get into the learning portal and says Ronald was able to see his teacher and classmates. He got to see all of his friends. Um, they got to sing happy birthday to one of the students in the class. Mitchell says learning from home is going to be an adjustment. She says she and her husband are divvying up the subjects and there's one she's staying away from. I'll take all the other ones, but I don't like even attempting to try to do the math. <laughs> While Mitchell says this morning was a challenge, she knows each day will get easier. We'll get the hang of it, you know. Again, like I said before, we'll just do the best we can and cross our fingers and hope everything works out. <laughs> She was so positive. We love speaking with her today. Now, Seminole County School says they also received reports from parents saying that software wasn't working. They say they're working to resolve the issue. And Seminole County Schools also tells us that they have extended their distance learning from home until May 1st. So May 1st is the new date they are giving families. In Seminole County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, Getting Results News 6.